And Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is slapping 100% tariffs on Chinese-made electric vehicles. Uh, and of course, this is coming as U.S. automakers call Chinese cars a colossal threat. Take a look at this story. A 100% tariff on Chinese-made electric vehicles. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced Monday he's slapping substantial tariffs on all imported Chinese electric vehicles, or EVs, and a 25% tariff on Chinese steel and aluminum. Factors like China have chosen to give themselves an unfair advantage in the global marketplace, compromising the security of our critical, critical industries and displacing dedicated Canadian autos and metal workers. Ford CEO Jim Farrell he said last month the fitness of Chinese and EVs will eventually wash over our entire industry in all regions. Elon Musk says Chinese car makers will, quote, demolish rivals if there are no trade barriers. They own the market. They're controlling the market. So this is where tariffs might be a benefit until we can catch up. Auto expert Lauren Fix says the Chinese government has subsidized its car makers for a long time and has purchased many mines needed to make EVs. China dominates the EV battery supply chain and is the world's biggest EV market. Fix believes China wants to flood the market, put competitors out of business, and then jack up prices. She thinks tariffs may help with this. There is some protectionist to that, but also, it's important to note that if you let the free market reign, people will buy what they can afford and what they want. But if they can't afford it because they don't have jobs, then they're not going to either buy it or they're going to be buying the lower quality and lower priced product. President Biden will raise tariffs on EVs to over 100 percent this year, up from 27.5 percent. He says the Chinese Communist Party subsidizes its car makers so much the businesses don't even need to make a profitable product. He calls this an unfair advantage. Canada's tariff on EVs will take effect October 1st. The tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum take effect October 15th.